Hello and welcome to Geophysics Made Easy with Blueback Reservoir. In this episode we're going to look at plotting log data together with empirical rock models. So the aim of this episode is to plot some log data and compare it with some rock models. We're going to use VP, VS, row and VShell logs to plot some data and we're then going to overlay some different empirical rock models. Uh, and we're going to use the rock models to validate the data that we've plot and help decipher what kind of rock types we have in our well. So just some background, what is uh, an empirical rock model? There are essentially equations which define how different rock properties relate, for example how velocity and porosity relate to clay content in dry sandstone. These models have been developed uh, over the years in many different ways, including a lot of laboratory measurements. Uh, rock physics models exist for different types of lithologies, porosities and pressures, uh, and they can be used for a number of purposes like lithology substitution or data transformation, but for the purposes of this episode we're just going to focus on um, data QC. Just an example of an empirical rock model, uh, Gardner is a function which describes how uh, velocity and density relates in some uh, main uh, lithologies. Um, since these models have been developed over time by many people and there's been a lot of research and revisions on them, uh, frankly it would be rude not to use them to help uh, understand our data. So let's jump into Betrayal and see how we can we can do this. So the first thing we're going to do is to say insert new blueback GDI investigation and then we're going to select our data so we're going to choose a well and then select our VP add a new dimension VS add another dimension density and finally V shale then press OK and the first thing we're going to do to get an understanding of our data is to open the window blueback matrix window which plots all of our selected dimensions together. So here all the dimensions I've chosen are defined on either axis. I can color by V shale, for example, and show a legend. And we can see that on many of the different plots we have a nice separation of two uh, distinct classes where you have higher values of V shale and lower values of V shale. So let's go and look at that in a bit more detail. So let's open up a new cross plot window, choose my investigation, and again color by V shale. Now what we're going to do is create some um, empirical rock models to overlay on this data. So I can do that by clicking blueback home and choosing rock physics geodata equation creator and I'm going to create uh, two sets of equations. I'm going to choose this Gardner Sansun Shale and this Greenberg Castania. First thing to note is if I click on any of these models we get a description of how they're uh, defined mathematically. So you can see here um, it's a relationship between VS and VP and in the Gardner model it is density versus uh, VP and here's a description of the different parameters. Let's just press OK and create those. Once they're uh, created, I can then, by choosing this uh, equation button here, I can overlay uh, any of my equations. So let's choose my Greenberg Castagna. Here it goes. Uh, and we can adjust the parameters of this model by double clicking it. And then adjusting the settings in this dialog. So what I'm going to do is just keep this one as it is, say 100% sandstone, and we'll name it accordingly. I'm then going to just copy and paste this model and change it to let's say 5050 sandstone shale. Again I'm going to color it and name it accordingly. And finally I'm going to create one which is 100% shale. And let's give this one a nice magenta color. Okay. Then what I can do is overlay my different um, 
parameterized models to see how they compare with my real data and you can see if I turn on the legend that the different models plot in different places and help us decipher where uh, certain data should plot. So here you can see my 100% shale lies a lot lower and a lot closer to the high V shale values than that of the sand model. Let's look at how we can change the axis and plot a different empirical model. If I change here the axis from S velocity to density, I can then overlay my Gardner sandstone and shale models. And here you can see a better match for the high and low values of V shale. If I just, yeah, in the legend here, my sandstone, let's make that a different color. Green, maybe. And then you can see that uh, the two different models plot again in different places. This uh, shale model doesn't really fit well with the data, so what I can do is double click on that and maybe adjust the factor a little bit to better fit my data. And what I'm saying by doing that is I've changed the empirical equation, but I now have one which matches my data, so I could use that to help predict data in other wells where I don't have um, I don't have data. So this was just a quick uh, overview of how you can overlay uh, empirical rock models with your <clears throat> well log data to help get an understanding of your lithologies in your well. Um, again, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks for listening.